what's up there everybody, the right man here coming to you with another Persona 3 FES video. So, needless to say, you've gotten a lot of yen, as I planned. I actually did a quest which got me about 300,000 yen or so, it was the one where I was supposed to get like the three gold rings, so... Yeah, I got about 300,000 yen right there, which is pretty awesome. I also upgraded my Persona team yet again. We have pretty much everybody I could be comfortable with at this point. I have an Ice user, I have a Fire user, Insert, my Wind, my Lightning, who also doubles as my Light. I have a Darkness user, and I have a Tank and a Healer. So just let me cycle through here really quickly so you can get a little bit of an idea of the team. The all-star team right here. Needless to say, I'll replace them eventually too, but for now, this is this is what I am working with. So I feel pretty content with where I am right now. Um, everybody who isn't here, plus the characters who are here, are at like their mid 40s to high 40s, minus Rio, of course. So everybody's caught up in levels, so I can start using them however I wish in future fights. So. Let me actually take a look really quick at the equipment, because I do want to buy some equipment later. Oops. Standard is like 8260. 8260 or 8460, so... Keeping that in mind. We are going to focus pretty much on social links until the next full moon, which is a bit more than two weeks away. Golly! And this is going to be like the last full moon boss, too, I'm assuming. So this is going to be interesting. So be prepared to soak up a lot, and I mean a lot of story development. Oh. Oh, I got the RC Geta. Cool. And the five instant ramen. Okay, I know I'm going to be able to buy whatever Tanaka has. Indra Bracers. And two instant ramen. Yeah, it's really inexpensive, so let's go for it. Alright, so we got new shoes. What are the st statistics? Ooh, that's not bad. 68. Can supposedly be remote controlled. Yeah, knowing Tanaka's products, I give out a big fat nope. You know that's bullshit. Hmm, so I think I will head to the mall to buy some new stuff. Everybody still has their doubts on how well they did about the exams. Everybody has such interesting, like, interesting clothing styles for the winter, or the fall, I mean. And all these plot points come into a head. I mean, we got a character death in the last full moon, guys. I mean, I'm wondering how much more intense it can get. I'm actually kind of apprehensive to know. Hmm. Let's see, I want to trade for some items. Let's get some more Fierce Sutras. You know, realistically, I could probably use one of my really powerful personas to create a weapon. If I use Cert, I could get a weapon that does over 300 damage. 
and strength and fire attack. Really, I'd be tempted to do that. Depends entirely on how much Cert costs to repurchase, because Cert's an important part of my team. He's my main fire user. Let's actually take a look, because if it's possible, I'm going to want to do that. Uh, cert, cert, cert. Oh! That's expensive. 473,000. I actually might do it. Believe it or not, I might actually do it. Worth it? I don't know. But to have a weapon that powerful? You know, I guess there's some give and take that needs to be done. Well, let me start selling some stuff. 100,000 for a shadow crystal. Two opulent coins. Oh, yeah. Dude, I got over a million in yen. Dude, I can afford it. I can totally afford it. Dude, I'm not, I'm not even thinking twice. I'm going to go make that sword right now. I'm damn sure about to make that sword right now. Ooh, actually... Oh shit. Either way, no matter what weapon I use, it's going to be a two-handed sword. What do I have more of a stock of? Nice. Go for it. Two days. This weapon is so powerful, it's going to be done in two days, not just one. Now let's go repurchase Cert. This is some serious RPG shit right here. Increases wind damage by great amounts. I can increase a lot of my stuff. I know one of them has a shit accessory, so... I just want to get one of these. Okay, I'm good to go. I spent half that damn episode uh, putting shit together. Totally worth it, by the way. Totally worth. The worth... the worthiest of worth. I almost used the TV trope there, the wharf effect. I wanted to say the wharf effect. Eh, I just did. Eh, randomness is a bitch. Hey. <coughs> the Akinari seem, seem to be ill. Well, no crap. Yeah, I'm fine with hanging out with him. Dude, he is not good. It's starting to settle down, I think. Thank you for coming. It's better when I'm not alone. Why do I have to face this alone? Other people don't have to deal with this sickness. I won't ever walk through a sunny field again because my legs and heart can't handle it. All that's left is to draw my sheets around me and count the beats of my heart until they stop forever. Why is this only happening to me? Dude, I'm apprehensive saying anything. I don't want to say that. I feel like going neutral might be good. I don't know. I don't know. Of course not. No one knows. I don't even know. I mean, I understand why I'm dying, but why am I dying? There isn't any meaning to life that I can find, so perhaps I'm not missing all that much. Akin already nods to himself. I wish I could run away, but if my body was capable of that, I wouldn't be here anyway. No matter what I do, my body is there to remind me I'm going to die. And there's nothing I can do! <laughs> Please don't leave. Just yet. When I'm alone, it feels like it could end at any second. You 
You don't need to worry. No, of course not. I can accept it. Akinari nodded. I'm feeling a little better, thank you. Dude, whatever, whatever we can do to soothe this guy, I mean, he's going through hell. He needs that sort of emotional support. Surprisingly, I'm catching him every Sunday these days. It's starting to get dark. Don't worry, I'll be fine now. <laughs> it was good seeing you. Well, nothing we can do. Do, do, do. Exam results will be posted today. Great. I did pretty good, actually, if I recall. I don't think I have too much to worry about. Alright, let's go. Let's see how bad I flunked. Nah, I didn't flunk. Junpei might have flunked. You scored the highest in your class. Everyone is looking at you with respect. Your charm has increased. You suddenly remember something. Mitsudu promised to give you a gift if you scored the highest. Lunchtime is almost over. Wow. I actually scored the highest in my class. That's pretty impressive, isn't it? Okay, everyone, come get your tests so we can go over them. On question one, we had you use a formula we spent several days on to solve it, remember? Next question was a word problem about calendars. Does, did it, does ever, anyone here buy a new calendar every year? If you do, you're wasting your money. You see, calendars have only a set number of... Oh, shit. Maybe I shouldn't have skipped so much. I don't know. Um... Seven? Oh. I didn't even take into account leap year. <laughs> that sucks. Alright, let's go see what Mitsudu wants. I actually do wonder if I can talk to uh, Yukari again. She's still pissed at me. Well, Mitsudu isn't here, so... Alright, let's try. Huh, you got something to say? Mm, okay, let's keep going. Alright, we've... We successfully got out with her. There seems to be a strange tension between you and Yukari as you sip your drinks. Well, you do. That won't work. That won't work. Apologize seriously. Well, you don't have to make such a scene. It's embarrassing. I understand how you feel, though. Let's try to go back to the way things were, okay? Yes! Thank goodness. Things aren't reversed with her anymore, so I need to make sure that I don't coddle her. Hello. Your exams are over, right? Well, I'm ready to go to Tartarus when you are. I promise to do my best until the very end. I'll be fighting for him, too. Yeah, I just... Okay, so the thing with Yukari is I need to make sure I don't coddle her. Like, give her space when she needs to. Great. This magnifique. Congratulations. I performed satisfactory in chemistry and mathematics, but I performed poorly in others. My concentration is reserved for battle. Wow, when you do better than a robot. Whew, no S. Now I don't have to go to Shinjiro san's grave and tell him I failed. Well, that's a way to look at it. 
Well, the grades have been posted, so let's turn our focus back to Tartarus. We are almost done. Yes, we are. I did okay on my exams. Not that I really care. I need to work on my strength. Time spent worrying about grades should be spent trading. Not the best thing to be thinking about, considering the fact that, you know, we have to go back to our everyday lives after this. But I can understand everybody's sentiment. The weapon should be ready today. That damn weapon that cost me over 400,000 yen, basically. Ah, okay, class. I know you've been busy lately, but you all remember to do your homework, right? Just because you're not taking a literature class next year doesn't mean you can blow off classic lit. Something serious has to happen. We're getting dialogue. Hey, are you listening to me? What's wrong, Fuka? You look kind of down. Huh? Talk to me. Tell me what's bothering you. It's about Aragaki Senpai. Oh, pretty shocking, huh? Never seen him at school, but I've seen him around town. I wonder if he really did get caught up in some kind of crime. Some things you can never get back. I know that from all the things that have happened with my parents. I've sort of been avoiding the question. But is it okay for me to go on like this? Parents, huh? I can relate to that. But you'll be okay, right? Natsuki, what are you waiting for? Come on up. Ooh. -oh. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Don't you want to give your classmates a proper goodbye? Huh? What's going on? Uh, hello everyone. I know it hasn't been that long, but I feel like I've made some good friends. I'll remember each and every one of you, even after I transfer. Thank you. How's that? Whoa, she's transferring. Transfer? What? Aw, Fuka. You're a weird one, you know? The biggest bitch in the school is leaving, and you feel sorry for her. You were transferring? And you didn't say anything? It's not like telling you would have changed anything. Why make us both depressed? Anyway, my dad's pretty sick. And they say it'll take some time for him to recover. And we don't really have that much money, so we can't afford to stay here. You know, I still think you're crazy for being friends with someone like me. But, like I said before, we're both in the same boat. My parents act like I don't even exist. I hate living at home. That's why I was so jealous when you moved into the dorm. Natsuki-chan. But, Fuka, your house is nearby and your parents are pretty normal. So why'd you move? Huh? Well, um... Character development? Or she just can't say anything about the real reason? If you don't want to tell me, that's okay. But if it's something that you and your folks can work out, then do it while you have the chance. It'll be a while before my dad's in any condition for us to have a heart-to-heart. -heart. <laughs> what am I doing? This isn't what I wanted to talk about. You know, Fuka, I used to think that every day was just the same. And I'm only saying this because it's you. But you don't get any second chances in life. If you accept the way things are, then they'll never change. This is the last time I'll see this view. Huh. I won't be in school next week because I'll be packing, so... Guess this is goodbye. No! <laughs> it's okay, everything will be alright. 
Come on, don't give me that look. What? Hey, I'm not helpless, you know. I've changed a lot since I met you. I'm gonna try and figure out what I really want now. So, I hope you do the same. What I really want... I used to try and please everyone. I was afraid of not being liked, so I did my best to fit in. But I never really thought about what I wanted. <laughs> that is so like you, Fuka. Well, I say, if they don't accept you for who you are, then screw them. But I like you, even if you don't like yourself. Natsuki-chan. Well, better get going. Even if we're apart, we'll still be connected. We can always talk, right? Thanks for everything. Natsuki chan. Even if we're apart, we'll still be connected. It all makes sense now. I've always been so worried about how others are feeling. That's why my power allows me to stay connected with them. I guess there is something I want after all. It makes me happy to see everyone else happy too. So, I want us all to remain friends. The power to connect people even when they're apart. My persona has given me this amazing gift. The resolution in Fuka's heart has awakened a new persona. You know, in her in a sense, her mindset is the same as mine. Makes me happy to see other people happy. Lucia has given rise to Juno. I wonder what kind of new abilities this gives. There you are. Why? Did something happen? It is surprising to find you on the rooftop. Ah, uh, we were just wondering what you were up to. Everything's okay now. I've made up my mind. I'll do as much as I can with my power. For my sake, as well as the sake of others. Okay... <laughs> Sorry, I guess that was sort of random, wasn't it? Uh, are you sure you're alright? That made me kind of sad, actually. We're getting a lot of resolutions for everybody, aren't we? We got Ken and Akihiko's resolution, and now we got Fuka's. So all that's left is like Aegis and Junpei, Kodomaru, well I guess, I don't know how they can get any resolution, but <laughs> I'm looking forward to the trip, the journey. Alright, let's go to the mall, because I want to get my weapon 